32-year-old Monica Lelonek is a chemist. She's loved science and technology ever since she was a child. Most of my cousins who were my age were boys, so we played with cars a lot. So I was always interested in technology, but I also had dolls. Even when I was young, I cared about clothes and high heels, perhaps not what you'd expect from a person who became a scientist. Nowadays, she's an entrepreneur. Two years ago, she founded a nanotechnology company. It makes extremely thin membranes from materials such as aluminium and silicon, filters with tiny nano-sized holes. She sells them to laboratories and industrial manufacturers. The products themselves are also used in the high-tech sector for new kinds of miniaturized sensors and for biochips and DNA analysis. These are new procedures and new markets that are just opening up. Lelonek has set up her business on a technology campus where scientific institutes and other companies are also based. Her neighbor, Katja Richter, runs a biotech company. She's had it for six years. Richter processes chitin, which is derived from crustacean shells. She uses a special procedure to produce a substance called chitosan. Like substances the body produces naturally, chitosan can transport medications through the bloodstream. Richter sells the product to the pharmaceuticals industry. As a young woman and company founder, she's already had some typical encounters. For example, when it comes to appointments at banks. Their second or third question is always about my family situation, which wouldn't be the case with the man. But I can deal with that. She spends 11 to 12 hours a day at the company, her family and friends just have to accept that. In that way, she's no different from a typical company head. Richter is an advocate of clear hierarchies, but she doesn't want to come across as detached from the rest. I think I encourage a certain amount of participation. I try to get everyone on board, including when there are problems, so that we communicate with each other. You have to find a solution as a team, because then you're stronger than if you try to fight all your battles alone. Monica Lelonek's workday also lasts more than 10 hours. Here she's dining with the first investors in her company. They'll provide fresh funding for new laboratories, for instance. It's money that we really need to build up the business the way we'd like to. It wouldn't be possible otherwise. The investors give her security, but it will still be at least two years before her company shows any profits. <laughs> 